Well, hello, Aries. Beautiful rising. Good afternoon and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Mm -hmm. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is your weekly energy check-in and this is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising and Jupiter signs. So welcome or welcome back Aries to another of your readings. I hope you are all doing so very well. All of my readings are intended to be timeless meaning whenever you have found this reading is when you are meant to hear this message. So use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you. All right, Aries. So let's get into your reading. So happy Sunday to all of you. I hope you are all doing so marvelous. We have switched from Gemini season to um cancer season so yeah we went from air to water so i hope you are all doing well doing water season aries so yeah all right so i have been showing the bottom of the deck the bottom of the deck is what we don't see coming so the bottom of the deck for the oracle was discernment so you have some discernment in your future also the tarot card was the five of wands with chaos so i feel that there is some sort of some something rising up in that you don't see that is happening in your future energy but I don't feel that it's something because I know it said chaos but I still feel that it is something that is necessary for your growth so however it applies to you you will know so also the spirit animal card was the wombat spirit would be at home so making sure you're toning back into yourself to your own center and yeah, who you really are. So, I love it. All right, Aries. Let's give this a little bit of an adjustment. And, okay. All right. So, your spirit animal for this week, Aries, is the antelope spirit. With life is speeding up. Life is speeding up. Okay. So, this feels very fire energy <laughs> for, and like, you know, this antelope has those horns as well. So let's read antelope spirit for you, Aries. Okay. Antelope spirit is number two. Life is speeding up. When antelope spirit rushes into your life, you are being reminded of the quickening of your personal evolution as a powerful co-creator. You are being told unequivocally that it's time to get moving Set your intentions and take action towards making your dreams real. There is an intensity you can feel, and it is important to take advantage of this energy right now. If you have a plan for your career or financial abundance, now is the time to step it up. If you're asking about a relationship, make that first move. Just know that, in, oh, just know that the intentions you have set in motion are cr are coming together now at warp speed stay alert and keep up things are getting interesting when antelope spirit calls you to move quickly so yeah you're being called to move quickly aries so yeah life is speeding up so in whatever way that applies to you you will know so in your recent past you have number 27 with release release so i feel that in yeah in your recent past energy there were things that you needed to release you I, this could be you know in regards to people in your life this could be situations in your life this could be things in your life this could be release you know the the way that you go about things or even the way that you think about things so 
it could be anything that you were releasing but yeah this is about you stepping into the energy of being able to release what you needed to in your past energy and you have the seven of wands with resilience so uh, yeah, this I feel that this release came after a long, a long time of uh, standing up for yourself and being resilient, being the one, you know, being the one holding it down for yourself um, at all times is what I'm feeling. And so I love it. I love this so much. So, yeah, after so much resilience, you were able to release what it was that you needed to release. Love it. In your present energy, Aries, you have card number 36 with patience. And this is green corn moon with patience. So I feel that right now you are in the energy of knowing that there is something that is coming to you. There is something that is growing for you. There is something that you know maybe is owed to you in some in one way or another but yeah you're being guided to be patient and so you have number 27 and number 36 both of those adds up to nine and nine is you know within tarot nine is the last number right before the 10 and the 10 is the ending and the new beginning so I feel that right now you in this patient's energy is you at like the nine so it's like you know that there's something new that's beginning but you're not quite there to that new start yet so you are right now learning patience <laughs> so your tarot cards are the seven of swords with deceit and the Ace of Pentacles with growth. So these, so the tarot energy, I mean, there could be something going on around you. And look, so you have seven energy as well. And so, so two sevens here. But, so you have the Ace of Pentacles with growth and you have the Seven of Swords with deceit. And I feel that right now in your present energy there may be people around you who are in the energy of deceit who are you know not being honest with you who you are being required to have patience with but this patience is allowing you to grow in the person that you are the you know person that you are you know growing into during this journey so yeah amazing so yeah I love it because even though life even though right now life is speeding up for you Aries you're still being asked to have some patience so <laughs> it says it's almost like two opposite messages that's funny all right stepping forward Aries you have card number 14 with focus so moving forward, I feel that you are moving into another level of your own expansion. You are being able to focus in on what it is that you are growing. You are expanding like your third eye is opening and transforming. You are speaking up for yourself. You are becoming... A, like you are tuning more and more in with your own emotions and becoming more stronger in your emotional body and yeah like there's a lot I don't know why I was feeling all of that in this but yeah and it just feels like moving forward you know what it is that you want what you want to work for and you Start, you move forward doing that so wow and your tarot card is the two of wands with planning so yeah absolutely in your future energy you have a lot of planning and focus that you will be yeah experiencing so this could be whatever it is that you know sets your heart on fire that you know brings up that passion within you so 
this thing that you are moving forward into, it's something that, you know, you've wanted for a long time. And it's something that I feel you finally get to focus on after not being able to. So, wow. Well, Aries, this has been another of your readings. I hope you found something that you resonate with. And if you did, please remember to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Thank you so much for being here, Aries. I love you and appreciate you. And I'll see you in your next one.